everybody, welcome to the Come Game Movie Show. My name is Deshaun, and today I'm here to review the She-Hulk official trailer. Now, I have been excited for this sh um, show since the day it was announced. Re like, years ago, I read the Dan Slott run on She-Hulk and loved it. Instantly fell in love with this kind of fourth wall breaky character. I've talked many times before about how I love the idea of this, like, she, like, she's just, like, she's so, it's this interesting character who has interesting arc. At least in that run. Because, you know, Jennifer Walters, you know, the identity of She-Hulk is just kind of this meek woman who wants to wants to be a lawyer, who wants to do good, but, you know, she's kind of quiet. And as She-Hulk, she's this big, larger-than-life character, larger-than-life person who, who sleeps with all, any man she wants. And I often, and I always thought that was pretty fucking cool. Like, in the first issue of the Dan Slott She-Hulk, she wakes up next to a supermodel. And it's like the Tony Stark thing, and it's like... You know, the Tony Stark, the James Bond-esque thing, but from the reverse side. Yeah, she sleeps with models because she can. She picks, she, like, you know, when she sees a man that she wants to, she wants to, you know, hit on or be with, she can, and she does it, and it's really interesting, especially when they were, like, that was, but like, think about it, She-Hulk was pushing shit like that before Me Too, so she was, like, before women were, like, you know, more forward, she really put one out there and her sexuality is such a huge part of that character and I was so and it kind of shocked me how much of that is actually in this trailer but more so than that is the comedy angle I just love her her comedy her fourth wall breaking her interactions with other characters and this trailer to me really set it up really nicely because I thought it was hilarious I thought all the bits with her and Bruce are funny those two are going to be great together <coughs> um those two are going to be great together also Fucking Wong shows up at a certain point. I'm like, damn, Wong. That's my Sorcerer Supreme, damn it. That's my Sorcerer Supreme. But, yeah, Wong shows up at a certain point, which was awesome to see him. And clearly, the main villains are gonna, like, the vibe I'm getting from the trailer is somebody stole something from Carmitage. And the main villain is gonna be something magical, which is why Wong showed up. Um, also... Abomination is back, um, Tim Roth, Emil Blonsky, he is back, and it seems like one of the crux of the shows is she's gonna be defending him because she, Jennifer Walters gets recruited by this guy, which is exactly like in the comics, except in the comics it goes even crazier. Oh man, I, I, I don't want to say anything because it might happen, but in the comics, man, she ends up having to be a fucking defense attorney on another stage. I'm talking a big stage, I'm talking interdimensional defense attorney which apparently in the Marvel Universe there's interdimensional def there's interdimensional court apparently man there's some stuff in that that was hilarious but I digress you know um but this is the same premise from that um Dan Slott run which is the idea that um she there's a superhero law firm and they're specialized in defending superheroes and of course what's better to be you know what's better if you're gonna just start a division like that What's better than having your own superhero lawyer to defend these people? And it's like, it, it's even in a promotion. Now, I have seen some people, um, I've talked about this a couple of times on different places, but there's a little promotion. If you look at the poster for She-Hulk, there's a promotion with a number on it. And if you call it, she'll, like, you'll get a recorded, like, message from Jennifer, you know, from Jennifer Walters talking to She-Hulk. And she'll talk about how we, have you done this? Have you accidentally created a robot? Have you accidentally damaged stuff? Well, call us and we'll defend you. So I think that's pretty funny if that's the angle they're going for. And it seems like she'll be defending um, Abomination from something. I'm not sure what, but she seems like she will be defending Abomination. Also, you know, she doesn't really want to be a superhero, which is always a little fun angle to play in any superhero story. Is when the super is when the superhero doesn't really want that, so they have to come around to being a hero. Also, uh, if I'm, you know, I gotta obviously talk about the daredevil of it all. And I heard rumors about this, but I didn't know if they would do it. I always thought the OG daredevil outfit was kind of ugly, the yellow and the red, but. But, it was cool as hell seeing Daredevil come in in the yellow and the red outfit. It was, I didn't see that coming. It was kind of surprising. But, hey, it was cool. It was really fucking cool. Now, like, 
I'm interested to see how much he factors into this. There's a lot of characters in this show, and I think that might boost the numbers. I think this show might do bigger than people are thinking, because this show has the Hulk, Daredevil, and Wong in it. That's a lot of, like, movie characters in this show, or, you know, in Daredevil. Like, that's... This show has some weight to it, man. It really does. And it's going to be comedic. And it's going to be... Ah, oh, man. I am... I'm... <coughs> sorry. Still dealing with some stuff. But I'm looking very much forward to this show, man. It's one of those characters that I love. It's one of those characters that I've, I've, I've always enjoyed. And honestly, oh, outside of the CGI, which doesn't look... It's not terrible, but I... Look... After Avengers Endgame Hulk, like, if you go back and look at Avengers Endgame and look at Mark Ruffalo's Hulk, how fucking realistic he looked. I was hoping that it would be that, and it isn't, which I'm stupid for ho I'm stupid for thinking it would be as good as that, because it's a TV show, and as I talked about previously before, as much money as they're putting into these shows, they're still TV shows. It's not like they're putting three. It's not because it's because this is gonna be a nine episode show, but it's gonna be like a nine episode, thirty minute um show, thirty minute episode show. But as much money as they're putting into it, unless they want to put another hundred million dollars into it, because they're putting they're spending about one hundred and fifty forty five to one hundred fifty million dollars on each of these shows, and they that's just it's just that's not enough spread over a bunch of episodes. So I should have known they wouldn't make it look the CGI look as good as Bruce's did in Endgame. But once, but honestly, the CGI means little because if the sh show itself is good, if the characters are good, which it seems like it's gonna be fun, and if all this, if this, if the trailer is any indication, if everything ends up being as good as it looks in the trailer, I, I, I think most people will kind of get over the CGI and move past it. You know what I mean? Um, other than that. I'm just excited to see this show. I'm excited the show comes out in August, so it's not that far from now. Marvel's kind of got a weird gap in time right now because Black Panther and the next movie doesn't come out till November, and this show doesn't come out till August. So it's going to be a couple weeks of nothing on Disney Plus, basically. So I am, I am hopeful. I am hopeful. And I think this show is going to be really good. I think this show is going to be a big surprise. It did big numbers. The, the trailer did big numbers on YouTube. So I'm hopeful for this show. I am very hopeful for this show. Anyways, thank you guys for joining the Comic Game Movie Show. Please like, subscribe. And what did you think of the She-Hulk official trailer? Are you excited about it? Are you curious about it? Or are you apprehensive because of the CGI? I would understand. Because, I, like I said, I don't think CGI is bad. But... Considering the entire character is going to be CGI, I was hoping it would be a bit better. But, you know what? If the show's great, which it looks like it's going to be, a lot of comedic baits look hilarious, so I'll laugh. Anyways, thank you guys for joining the Comic Move Show. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.